Hello everyone, welcome back for another Minecraft tutorial. This was another request to build a uh, survival house in the snowy taiga biome. So uh, trying to make a winter cottage build is what I decided to go with. Uh, and of course, it's all my biome builds that I've been making in the past. Uh, I am strict restricting myself to only use the blocks that you can find in this biome. So that requires snow, that requires spruce, and all kinds of stone, and things like that. So without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Alright, to start out with, here is your... Uh, layout right here go ahead and mark it down the green and yellow or green and yellow green and white wool is your walls and of course we're using spruce stripped logs for the posts uh, where you see on the corners and on the bottom too there and from there we're going to go ahead and place up our posts these here on the corners the four corners are going to go five logs so one two three four five and then same thing on this one one two three four five and you're going to do the same thing on those two, except these two front ones here are only going to go up four logs. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, just like that. And then, of course, these two. All right, once you got that all set up and ready to go, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and place some uh, logs horizontally, in a sense, where we're going to place them this way and go across. And go ahead and just lay them all out like this. Some of these we're probably going to get rid of uh, later on if you want to. I mean, some of these you, you don't have to do uh, the replacement. So I'm probably going to replace some of these with snow blocks. But for now, as a placement and just a more organized pattern, this is how we're going to do it. And you're going to place them sticking out, uh, I think, yeah, one extra log. So, like where this green wool is matches here you want to go one extra log out so or two logs from this post here like so all right from here I think it's easier to just go ahead and fill in the walls instead of the roof first so let's go ahead and do the walls first and here you want to we're gonna actually have the floor uh, one block off the ground so we're gonna put the door kind of like that and that's where that door is gonna go so we're gonna have like a staircase going up to it and this is going to go up about here, like so, for the front wall here. And we'll have a little window here for a little extra little high window above the doorway. All right, once you get that set up, uh, we'll go ahead and work our way to the sides. And down here, we're going to go ahead and go up two sets of walls, two sets of rows of blocks here. And then go ahead and fill the sides in. And we're going to go ahead and place steps upside down stairs like that and then here we're gonna go ahead and place some trap doors to cover that up and you're gonna have a little window like that all right and then on the same basically on this side it's gonna be the exact same thing now we're gonna work our way around this way here so for this one if you notice we have an even number of blocks here so it's gonna be a little bit different and we're still gonna go up uh, actually I'm gonna go up one set of blocks and put in two columns like that so you have that much space and then we're going to place upside down stairs and we're just going to have a little bit longer window right there to make it easier on ourselves i think i'm going to go ahead and place a log right here just to separate those two um you don't have to have this that's why i didn't include it in the layout but uh it, I think it'll make it things a little bit easier. Just place it right in the middle of this here. Uh, basically where that door frame is. So from there, once again, we'll place two rows of stone. And I think we're going to go ahead and place two columns of stone. And go ahead and place your uh, upside down stairs and your trap doors. You need to get the pattern at this point, right? And basically the same thing's going to happen here. Now for this end here, um, you could do the same thing as this side of the window, but I think this is where I'm going to put a chimney, so you don't have to actually include that. So for just for now, we're going to block it off uh, with just stone, and we'll, we'll probably shape shift it later. 
Now, of course, if you're using brick, you can also use uh, smooth stone, cobblestone, whatever. Um, and what I like to do is actually just kind of put in some smooth stone and scatter it around and uh, just to separate all the similar type of stone so it's not all the same. All right, so easy enough so far. Uh, let's go ahead and start working now on the roof. We'll go ahead and do the arch on the sides first, uh, and then we'll do the arch in the front. So starting on the sides here, we're actually gonna have these logs go out one like so. And then using your stairs, we're gonna place them like that. So you have underneath this row here. You can go ahead and place an upside down stair underneath that log, and then up top. For now, we're just going to go ahead and do it right here on the stair. And then do another upside down. We're going to go ahead and do a, another long stripped log, followed with a stair, upside down stair. And then from here, we're going to place a slab. And then for now, temporarily, we're going to put two logs. You can put two planks there if you want to, uh, or, or anything to put blocks there for now as the top of the uh, roof. And you're basically going to do the same thing, the same arch coming out this side. So we'll go ahead and do it again. And then, of course, on that side as well. So stairs, upside down stair, stair on top, upside down, log, uh, stair, upside down stair, and slab. And just like that, that is your little arch for the roof. And you're going to do the same thing on that end. All right, so when you get that part done, you can go ahead and actually connect these together by placing stripped oak logs all the way across, stripped spruce logs, sorry, all the way on both of these. Actually change these out for upside down stairs on both sides, or stripped spruce log if you like that instead, and we'll fill this top in later. Uh, next up, we're gonna go ahead and do the front arch uh, to make this look a little bit nicer. So a similar pattern, we're actually going to do a stair underneath the main uh, horizontal log, upside down, come up top, do a right side up, upside down, and I think we're gonna do that, and connect a slab with a full block. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So once again, Stairs, upside down stair, right side up stair, oops, upside down stair, and a slab. And then from there, we can actually add a little more detail by adding another stair, upside down stair, or cover. That is like so. And you see these holes here, we're actually gonna go ahead and just fill that in uh, with some more spruce planks or slabs, whatever you prefer. And there you go, there's your front of the, uh, the cottage there. Now, the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and start making, uh, filling in the roof with some snow blocks. So from here, it's it's not that hard actually. <laughs> you just gotta place it where uh, these are. Now, like I said, this here, I'd rather not have this exposed, so I'm gonna replace it actually with some snow blocks all the way around like that. I will leave these on the end, on both sides, but like these over here, it's gotta go. We're gonna place it with snow blocks. Now, once again, if you don't uh, want that, you can you can choose not to. Uh, and if you don't have enough snow blocks, you can use white concrete. Uh, I'm sure it looks just fine. Um, but then when you add uh, some detail layer, uh, and a little extra snow layers here, uh, it'll look, uh, you might need the extra little snow at the end. So for the second layer here, we're gonna place another row of snow all the way around. I'll do one side and then you can just copy it on the other side. So it goes up two layers like that. And then you're gonna come in, and I think here what I'm actually gonna do is we're gonna place a, a set of stairs like that. It's kind of a little platform to, for the snow. And I think here we're actually just going to place a full plank and then put more snow blocks covering it up like that. Then another row. Oops. And then here 
we're actually just going to place a slab that fills in all the way across anyway so we'll just go ahead and go all the way across and once again the same thing on this side now when it comes to this middle part here uh, we'll get to in just a second but go ahead and fill in this side and we'll get to that all right now i got this far uh you can go ahead and place a basically just place a log that goes inward about so far in and you can go ahead and like make sure it connects up if you want to we're not going to actually need this though because it's gonna hit this snow block so we only need to go about right there uh, where the snow is going to run into it uh, and in doing so we should probably go ahead and just do this all the way across and you can take that out later if you want to but for now we'll leave that in and then just place some snow blocks in like that and then from here uh, we can go ahead and place a layer of snow covering up this space like so and there is your front now you can of course we're going to do the same thing on the back it's going to be a lot easier because it's just one straight across and just fill that in all right now that is done um, the basic part of the snow uh, we're going to add, start adding a little more detail after we go ahead and use this now there's several things you can do here and you could fill with snow uh, you can fill it with diorite, you can fill it with a different type of wood. So once you get on this side, it's going to be mostly covered up by a chimney. So we're just going to fill it in like usual. And I'll place some diorite blocks scattered around. And you know what, I don't like this wooden planks actually. Now for this side though, however, with the window, we're actually going to place a window here as well. Um, and you can just kind of place two blocks empty in the middle. You can place upside down stairs. Oops, that is not upside down. Like so to give it a little bit uh, more detail and depth into the window. One thing I forgot to do on the side here is actually add some trap doors like so. Now here comes the fun part. Now we're going to add our just our normal snow layers and we're going to really just add them all over and, and add a little more depth and detail uh, into the build itself. So we're going to, you know, place them on top here and just add different rows of layers, uh, you know, make them uneven all the way across. Some might be a little bit higher than others, of course like so and actually look right there and just do it all over across like any block you find that doesn't you can put snow on put snow on it why not and just to add a little more I'm gonna take some blocks out like this here uh, and just in random places to look like it's just coming through the uh, the sides and just adds a little more like just snowiness to it that like uh, like it's coming through the uh, the rim so it's not just like a straight lines completely these windows here they're kind of let's add some more detail to them so first off let's go ahead and put a rim over the top of this so using your spruce stairs and spruce slabs of course we're about one block away from the window as you see here we're gonna put an upside down stair. And from here, we're just gonna take this one out and place it like that. And then using your slabs, go ahead and go above the window like so, just to give a little extra arch. And we're gonna do the same thing on all the windows around that uh, has these kind of uh, trim around it. Oops. Like so. And the cool thing also is, because you have a flat space here, you can go ahead and place uh, some more snow. Alright, now to do a little more extra detail here, we're going to go ahead and place a stair that kind of goes across like that. Um, you could even go out one block if you want to and just add a little more uh, of a porch area if you'd like. And we'll throw a door in here. Like so. And of course, this is going to be filled in with a floor, uh, whatever kind of floor material we'd like. Um, but for since I am 
focusing on using just uh, mainly spruce related stuff. Uh, I'm going to fill this in with planks. To add a little more detail to the roof here, I'm going to add a little extra window for the second floor. Um, you could easily, if you want, if you're doing this in survival, you can go ahead and add yourself a second floor first, and then it might be easier to do this. But I think right here in the middle of this right side one. So go right about here, and I'm just going to kind of tear it open a little bit, about three blocks wide. And then from there, we're going to place these blocks there. And I think just take that apart and place them like that so the logs are sticking out. Um, you can get rid of those. You don't really technically necessarily need those. And you can put the snow, snow blocks black there. Then just place some stairs on top of the logs, like so. And then you can easily just like add a trap door or a slab on top, uh, like so. Like that or like that. And then you basically have yourself a little window. You can place a glass block there, go ahead and cover up the rest with some snow. And I'm going to refill this up. And of course you can place on top here. And yeah, there you go. Easy, quick window. Uh, adds a little more uh, detail. You can even add a couple of trap doors if you want to cover those logs. Uh, if you'd like, and I think up here I forgot to do this too. I'm going to add some trap doors here as well. And one last thing I want to show you all before I go on with the time lapse and add a whole lot of a different kind of detail to the building. Um, the windows. I want to show you how I'm going to be doing the windows for this build. Now, of course, you can't do it like in the frame here because there's all well, this is in the way, and even then, you're going to have this gap here where the stairs is, so you can't really quite do that. Do instead, and I know this is going to make this a space even smaller than it currently is, but you know, I, I don't. I feel like living in a smaller space kind of gives you challenge on how to live in a smaller space. But anyway. I'm going to place a full glass block, uh, block here, in this case white stained glass, and I'm just going to cover up the window frame like that. And so when you come out here, it has that depth of the window, and it covers it up. Looks good. Then you're probably wondering like, well, yeah, but then you have this weird glass block sticking inside the, the house. And so what I'm going to tell you to do here is actually we're going to do kind of like a wallpaper. Now you can do whatever kind of block you'd like to use for this because this is basically going to be like a wallpaper type of um, interior because you're double layering the, the walls. But I'm just going to use good old spruce uh, stripped logs here. And you can just kind of go around the windows. So it looks like it just becomes part of the house, right? And I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of the windows that are around. And uh, except for this one, this one's going to place a flat pane uh, there as well. And then I'll show you how this looks in just a moment. All right, and just like that, we're done. Actually, I forgot to film this. You could leave that like that and just have a little display case, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in just to point out the wallpaper effect. And so now you have this uh, interior that's, yes, a couple blocks thinner than it typically is. Uh, if you want a bigger cottage, you could probably expand this um, by two blocks if you'd like and, and get a little bit bigger space. But I think this is still a plenty of space you can build stuff in. And uh, yeah, then you, the windows don't look like they're out of place. They kind of have some kind of effect around it. You could put stuff here, but this is where I'm going to put like a fireplace. And yeah, there you go. You have uh, some kind of wallpaper. And like I said, you don't have to do stripped uh, spruce. You can do like any kind of colors, uh, wool maybe, or, or whatever, just to give it an interesting kind of color design for the interior. But uh, since I'm... I'm trying to just do, do basic plain stripped oak right now, or spruce right now, and even that looks pretty good, I think. So, yeah, that is looking good. Now, from here on out, I'm going to do a time lapse of just doing all the interior and a lot of the exterior work. And of course, I'm putting this build in my other world where I've been putting all of my uh, tutorial builds in. And uh, we'll see how that goes, and we'll place it in a snowy tire biome like where it's supposed to be. And uh, in its environment, <laughs> and uh, we'll, uh, I'll see you in just a moment after it's all done and do a tour.
all right welcome back we're here to do the tour of the build and I don't know what I'm doing with my mouse all right cool there we go and yeah look I decided to add a little try of my attempt at making a Christmas tree and using white banners and red banners and different kind of lanterns and on top I have a, uh, a bell so yeah that's my attempt at making a, a Christmas tree and look at this little winter fox sniffing under this spruce tree it's so cute all right cool anyway um yeah so obviously on the exterior here we're, I added some uh, some bushes uh, some a little bit of farm area that kind of goes through here and I decided to make a path that goes through the farmland because I realized I built the house facing this direction but uh, over there over yonder past the hill there is a, a little nice little snowy village and I was like you know what it'd be cool eventually to connect it up with that village and uh, I think there's a yeah, pillager tower over there great Let's uh, move on with the tour here. Now, initially, I made this little flower garden side thing with the andesite walls. But I was like, you know what? I want more color in this build. And I thought granite and brick. It probably kind of works well. It's not the greatest thing, but I think I think it does okay. Uh, so you have a little flower garden there. I think that looks freaking wonderful and you can easily build this on alongside your cottage too. I think it's a great addition uh, to the cottage and of course I tried to attempt at making a snowman but with a creeper head and yeah that's gonna give you nightmares so imagine a creeper actually being behind the snowman and then you just think it's the snowman anyway you know I just realized right I could just make snowmen I forgot snowmen actually existed in Minecraft Anyway, all right, moving on with the rest of the tour here. Coming inside the front door, uh, you're immediately met with some red carpets coming into the main build. And as you look to the left and right, there's a couple doors. And so when you come on in, you have a place to put like some extra uh, storage stuff. I don't like the way that door turns. I wish it was the other direction. Um, but oh well, for now that works. Uh, you know, place your things in here if you need to uh, when you come in. And over here, you know, you put your hat up and everything like that. Place to put your armor as you come inside so you can relax, kick back, and enjoy the, the coziness of, of your winter cottage. And of course, coming in here, you have your main accessories. You have your crafting bench, you have your cooking uh, stuff here, uh, some extra storage, a flower pot, and some bookshelves. And of course, to the left, we have our staircase, which we'll go up there in a minute. And uh, a nice looking fireplace over here, cozy fireplace with some extra wood so you can sit on here all day, read a book or something, and, and just relax and just kind of watch the fire. And look, you have a nice little view of the window outside. Yeah, it's, uh, both windows. This one not so much, but this one over here. Anyway, moving on. And on this side you have your mini storage, uh, enough to get by when you first start. I think so. And uh, you got a little anvil here, and a little uh, place to, you know, your, what do you call it, the loom. Extra little bush, nice little bamboo table with another flower, some paintings, and yeah, alright, moving on upstairs. We have more storage of barrels, more paintings coming around, and uh, some more carpet, really raggedy carpet. <laughs> that uh, is missing in some places and whatnot. But then you have your triple size bed uh, with some painting in the background. And uh, a little nice little uh, shelf space here with some extra storage, jukebox, uh, some more flowers. And you have, of course, can't forget an enchanting area. Now this won't give you level 30 enchantments. Um, you probably could add a couple more here to really stretch it out. Uh, and maybe even add one here if you wanted to uh, to give you a little bit extra levels but uh, I thought this would work at least for aesthetic purposes uh, and of course you have your grindstone and your stone cutter over here as well yeah and that's that's the gist of the build I had some details on the roof here with some extra uh, spruce trap doors my, my favorite blocks to use because I'm sure people were like man this guy uses so many freaking trap doors 
they're they're handy they're handy but yeah that's gonna be it for me hope you all enjoyed this build if you did hit the like button and if you are, are new here hit the subscribe button I try to build every week and uh, yeah so thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time bye